There are 8 million orphans living in institutions according to UNICEF. Many of them live in orphanages with deplorable conditions where their most basic needs are not met. The children are often hungry, scared, confused, and lonely. Most institutional orphanages are overcrowded and dilapidated, some rife with corruption, neglect, and abuse. Even when managed by people with good intentions, orphanages often lack the necessary funds, resources, and knowledge to adequately provide for the children in their care. Look closely. Really closely. Deep into the eyes of a child. See their hope. And ours, too. Whoever she is. Wherever he lives. Every child deserves a childhood. That's why UNICEF is there for each and every child. Working day in, day out, in 190 countries and territories, reaching the hardest to reach, the furthest from help, it's why we stay to the end and never give up. Will you stand with us? Stand with us. Stand with us. Stand with us. These stories motivated a group of honorable people from Cameroon living in the state of Georgia, USA to create a foundation to help orphans in the world, but focusing more on developing countries. The Orphan Kids Help Foundation was founded in the year 2009 with a sound mission to create opportunities for children hoping for a better future to provide resources to orphanages that enable children to sustain their physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. Finally, to build awareness of the despair faced by orphan children around the world and how their needs can be addressed. Today, we see Africans coming together for a common cause. Because you realize that our cause is no longer a cause for one nation, one continent, one race, it is not a cause for the rich or the poor. It's a cause for everybody because it's a cause for humanity. In 2010, the foundation started reaching out to orphans in need. Over the years, the foundation has developed a working relationship with nine orphanages in Africa. Hotpeck Orphanage, Cameroon. Rainbow Orphanage, Cameroon. ASAF Banabari, Cameroon. Mukuyu Outreach, Zambia. Wellington Orphanage, Sierra Leone. Little Saints Orphanage, Nigeria. Love Kids Orphanage Foundation, Ghana. Footprints Orphanage, Kenya. Mission of Hope Orphanage, Liberia. Jutukik Providence Foundation, Congo. These orphanages have regularly received assistance from OKHF in support of projects which target education, medical supplies, urgent interventions, and social services. Talking on urgent interventions, for example, in 2014, the Rainbow Orphanage facility with a capacity of 60 orphan kids was attacked by a tornado and was almost collapsing. The roof was destroyed and the old building was inhabitable. OKHF decided to lead the orphanage reconstruction efforts and rebuild the orphanage. OKHF, until today, continues to provide the logistics needed to sustain the well-being of these kids. The caregivers, the orphan kids, and authorities of the orphanage could attest the joy it brought to the community. De la misère Prêchant l'amour Et l'unité Chantons pour que demain soit plus clair Chantons pour les cœurs brisés Lorsque j'élève ma voix à travers l'univers 
C'est pour chanter les souffrances de la terre Je chante pour les enfants qui n'ont pas de père Je chante pour les amours perdus Nous qui avons connu de la misère Partner of the Orphan Kids Help Foundation. We are proud of them. So we are crying and we are praying for God might to keep all of them alive. He bought He bought us uh, He bought us food to eat. And we always when we, we look at the house, we are proud of the the representative too and the uh, Orphan Kids Help Foundation. We are proud of them. So now we don't even Think that any other person will do something who will, will be happy in our life because now we have good beds to sleep. Now when the rain is falling, we are inside the house. Before when the rain is falling, we used to put plates and pans. We need to share. I will join the children. We stay one side till the rain is gone. But now we are okay. We are okay. We are very so. We are very grateful. If you see joy, we are joy. Joy is in us. We are normal living like orphans. We are living now like like children who, who have parents and sisters and brothers. So we are we hope now that anything, even one of us is sick, they will help us. Okay, Mama will say thank you for whatever thing you have said. Everybody who contributed, even in seeing them how they are doing this thing, we, we thank the, the, the people. And we are still crying for more help that they should not leave us. We have hunger here. Now we have a place to sleep. Okay. 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 They have okay, done a still... lot for us. Once more, I said thanks to Orphan Kids Help Foundation. At first I thought to be an orphan is a crime. To be an orphan means all hope is gone. But I, now I've come to realize that there is a God in heaven. Who makes us to know in his own words that he is the father to the fatherless and the mother to the motherless. We, because with us here, we were like in the thick fence. When the rain is falling, we always burst into tears. It's as if the whole world is upon our head. But now, Orphan Kids Help Foundation, really, I know it is God that has sent you people to help us and I believe with this good work a wonderful work that you people have been doing with this wonderful work that you have done it will not only end only on us you people will also extend it to other less privileged somewhere that are just like us to change their story now we have hope when there was no hope now there's a way where there was no way now we can sleep even when the rain is falling, we sleep until we even forget that we are in the house. At first, we're in tears. When these little ones, uh, in the night, they will pee and mess up the whole environment. We will get up the following day, we have to turn and do everything. But now we are in paradise. In 2015, the president of OKHF, Mr. Ayong Abad, wanted to see and evaluate the situation of the foundation's affiliated orphanages in Cameroon. The president visited the Rainbow Orphanage in Manth, the Hop Peck Orphanage in B, and the ASAF Banabari. Cameroon superstar Adolf Claude Moundy, aka Petty Pays, accompanied his tour. The orphans' caregivers and the directors of these orphanages took the opportunity to directly thank OKHF for their support while expressing their worries and demanding more assistance for the orphans. Now we sang like we are no more homeless like orphans. It's because in the past few years, let me just say last year, we could not, in fact, we were not having peace. We were really orphans. But when you step into this compound, when you step in our life, joy entered us and forget the word offer. You know we have helpers, we have a mother somewhere who has put smiles on our faces. 
Your generation will never suffer. Amen. They will enjoy it. Well, I want to thank you very much for the courage. And uh, I know it's always difficult to live a life where you don't have parents. But uh, the hope that you have and what I've seen here today tells us that uh, you guys hey, are you can go further. You guys just need to be disciplined. You just need to do what the uh, mistress tells you and uh, take your book work serious. It is not always easy to, to meet people who don't have people to guide them. But uh, you should be glad that at least you have a place like this where you could even uh, imagine what it would have been if you didn't have any place to stay. So you are not homeless for now, but I think you have to thank God and uh, we shall keep supporting you in our own small way. But you know that support cannot go anywhere except you support yourself. So when it goes to discipline, you have to try to make sure the kids they do their homework, the kids they eat on time and they go to bed on time. Yeah, so that when they get up in the morning, they're strong and they could easily focus on what they have. Um, what we are giving you today is not because we have a lot, but it's just to show some kind of uh, appreciation for what um, Mama is doing for you people. And uh, I hope that uh, this will go a long way. And it should go for kids. It should not go for adults or for friends or for uh, relatives. It should go for kids. And uh, we shall keep doing what we can do so that uh, you guys find a better place in the world. Thank you.
Today, God has made it possible for all of us to see this day. And God has favored and blessed you with your daddies. In your midst today, you have one of your daddies from the U.S. That is Daddy Ayo Ebot. He is the one who has made it possible for you to have all of this. <laughs> Through the organization, what you have there, Orphan Kids Help Foundation, USA. God tells us in his word that for us, to make him happy, we have to take care of the orphans. We have to take care of the widows. We have to provide for the needy. And that we should not fast. He is tired of our fasting. What he expects of us is what I have just said. And that is what they are trying to do. To put a smile on your faces. So that you should not feel abandoned. So that you should not feel neglected. When you see these things, know that you have parents somewhere thinking of you. He did not come alone. He came with somebody most of you know. And so many of you would have wished to see him. You have seen him on TV. Today, you can now tell your friends that you saw him personally. <laughs> Do you know the person? Gorega, do you know this person? <laughs> no, you know. No, no, no. You don't know. Uh -uh. Okay, who knows the person? I want to know. You know. Yes, who is, who is he? Penny Penny. You know, stupid people so much. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do so much. That is why he has come to visit you. So you should know that when you are here, you have some a daddy somewhere who is particularly praying for you people. <laughs> he loves you people so much. All of these people sitting here, they love you people so much. And that is why they have come to greet you people, to tell you people that you should not feel abandoned, that from today, they are now your parents. Yeah. <laughs> Since they have a lot to do, you know they are all very busy people. They will soon leave. But they cannot leave without advising, giving you people a word of advice, so that as they go, they know that what they have told you people, you people will keep and you will stick to it. So that where they are, they will also know that they left people behind. So we will call first on our father, our daddy, to talk to the children. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank, first of all, you guys for doing the job you're doing. You're doing a wonderful job. It's not easy to deal with uh, kids. Even your own kids, it's difficult to do it, even if you're a parent. Then talk less, somebody taking care of somebody else's kids. It's uh, really a toll to you, and I uh, appreciate the work you're doing. Um, God bless you. Uh, I know that it's not easy for kids like this. Um, we all humble, we all see them fight, we see them struggle with each other for the little we could give to them. But uh, I think you guys are making them discipline, and I could see from what uh, they show us here today. I would only want to advise that uh, all what we do, 
We don't have much, but we'll always be there for you guys and we'll help anytime. <laughs> Welcome to our center. We are very happy today to receive you in this center. It's a wonderful thing. We are, not, ex we are not expecting until Mama surprise us here with wonderful, wonderful gifts and we don't know how, I don't know exactly what to say, I lack words. I thank you so much because this center, even though this center has made 11 years this year, we have never had a wonderful visitor like you people. And not to talk of... <laughs> I used to see Petit Pay only on TV. I never knew on TV. I never knew that one day he could visit us here in this manner. So we thank you and we are very happy. So, Most of the children are not here. We are grateful to the Orphan Kids Help Foundation USA for their wonderful support. Last time they supported, supported us on computers, and this time they've come again with rice, with granite oil, with bread, with sugar, with, okay, with the financial support. We are so grateful to God that you are out there thinking about us. We thank God for you, we thank God for your efforts. We thank you for, for keeping us at heart. We are praying earnestly that God will bless the Orphans Kids Help Foundation. God will bless your people. God will bless your people. And whatever you are desired of, our good God is going to favor you and bless you and use you more. We are also calling the attention of our brethren all out there. We know there is a book we used to read in secondary school. We call it Oliver Twist. Whenever this child eats, we always need more. We are training our girls with uh, vocational, uh, in vocational, especially in the area of beats and uh, crafts. We are uh, we, we really need uh, personnel to do some training to these girls. We are sorry, few of them are here. Many are already in the farm. I'm already dressed in the farm attire because rain fell in the night. We are preparing for the farm. So we have some bits in the office here that we will see some samples. We are managing to, to teach them, but we need some good personnel that we may come and really enlighten them on bits work, hearts, some things that these girls can do that will help them in future so that they will not go again begging and uh, being misused in our community. So we are also in need of personnel and, and particular materials that will help us to at least go along with it. Thank you. You know, somebody says teach somebody how to catch fish so that the person will not always be waiting and desiring to give for you to give the fish. So when we, when we are trained on how to produce all these things that can be income generating, at least we will also <laughs> remove our eyes from you for a while so that you also look at other orphans in other orphanages while we are established.
In 2016, OKHF partnered with the All Bain Like Association, ABA in Georgia, under the leadership of President Sanghor, to provide assistance to Angus Cassidy Orphanage of Bayangam in Cameroon. <laughs> Because this is one of the needs for the orphanage that we identify and then uh, this will help increase the numbers of uh, the orphan that they can get into the centers. That's why we decided to give the, uh, this uh, donation. In 2017, OKHF joined a group of organizations collaborating with Transforming Africa in continuing the construction of a new orphanage named Island of Dreams. The reconstruction efforts were completed in 2018 and where 96 orphans now live in the facility. <laughs> Let me end this report with the story of two orphans which I earlier mentioned. Anita and Agnes were admitted into the orphanage in February 2013 at the age of 6 and 7 respectively. Anita lost her mom and dad at the age of 3. Agnes lost her mom at the age of 2, but the father is vulnerable and cannot afford daily needs for the daughter. With the help of OKHF, like many other kids living at the orphanage, Anita and Agnes attended St. Joseph Primary School, Manth. In 2016, at the age of 9 and 10, through the Oko Young Alumni Association Girl Child Education Program, they both won scholarships to proceed with secondary education. They attended Presbyterian Secondary School, Baffoot. Because of the unstable educational system in that region, the two kids were moved to Mother Teresa College, Banabari, Douala. They are now in Form 3. This has been a world-changing experience in their lives. Listen to what they had to say. I want to thank OKAA for making me to come to a beautiful college like PSS Bafu. I never knew I would come to this college before. Thanks, mother. I will not disappoint you. I, I will pass my examination. God bless. I also, I also thank OKHF for, for you have done for us, my brothers and sisters in the orphanage. We are sure of our education, shelter, and upkeep. Because of you, may God richly bless you. Thank you. My name is Mokom Anita. My, I wish to thank the, o, the OKAA for the opportunity to, for me. 
you have given me to, to come to this PSS a beautiful college, a beautiful college. Thank you, my mothers, so much. God also bless you. I also want to thank our parents for our parents who came and for, for all they have been doing for us. I promise I will pass my, I will study very hard in school and make you, make you proud. God bless you. Thank you. OKHF is very proud of these accomplishments and remains very thankful and indebted to the loyal friends, supporters, and donors like you. Our mission and cause to alleviate poverty from orphan kids to the most needing communities are clear and can never be compromised.